We're gonna begin by making the middle part. And a little trick of mine is to take a hair comb, brush your hair back with that comb, and then find a line that you made with the comb that's nearest to the center, and then start splitting your hair open from there. To the right side, then the left side, and the line should be pretty straight. We are now gonna start making the mid ponytail. We normally brush our hair in a low bun, but in this case, it's gonna be a mid bun, especially if we're wearing a hair piece that has a braid that goes around the bun. And as you can tell, I'm using tons and tons of hairspray. What the hairspray is gonna do is it's gonna cause the hair comb to stick and not move around. If your hair is too soft, the hair comb is going to be sliding off and moving around. After I put tons of hairspray and I make sure that no hairs are coming out, I put on a second elastic and then more hairspray. There it is. Hair is nice and slick. The line is straight and the braid is what's coming up next. But before you can braid your hair, make sure that it's nice and slick and neat. Of course, we're gonna put on more hairspray to make your hair a little bit tougher. And so that way there's more grip, especially when it comes to the bobby pins. So go ahead and braid the hair nice and tight. And what I'm gonna use to tie it at the end are some elastics. Make sure that the elastic isn't too thick and it's gonna be sliding around. I found these elastics at Target and I love them because you can take them off and they don't pull your hair out. And of course, hairspray, hairspray, and more hairspray. There it is, it's nice and tight, nice and neat. No hair sticking out. And we're gonna move on. So make sure you get some nice medium-sized bobby pins. If they are too small, they're gonna be coming out. Okay, so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start putting the bobby pins in as I make the bun, not at the end, okay? Make your bun as round as possible and as flat as possible. We don't like pointy buns because then they stick out when you have the hair piece on. Don't use one or two bobby pins. You have to use like 10, maybe even more. If you have more hair, use like 20. The best thing to do is to have as many bobby pins as possible so that when you're moving around and jumping around, nothing happens. It has to be hard as a rock, literally. Once your bun is nice and tight, hairspray, hairspray, and more hairspray. Okay, make sure you shake your head a little bit, make sure nothing is loose, and that it looks nice and neat. Now, to add a little bit more volume to your hair, if you don't have enough hair, what I like to use is a little sock bun, because it's nice and light. And you can usually purchase it at the Dollar Tree, at Target, CVS, anywhere maybe even a drugstore, it doesn't matter. But if you put it on, make sure you put on tons of bobby pins. And like I said, this is meant to just add some volume if you have a little bit of hair. If you have tons of hair, then maybe the best thing to do is not to wear one. This is kind of what they look like. You don't put them under the hair, just put them over. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bun cover and we're gonna cover it all so that it looks nice and neat and no hairs are sticking out and that way we can have a secure bun and nothing's flying off. If you have any of the ties sticking out, make sure you bobby pin them in. And voila, here you have a beautiful bun. It's not a low bun, it's a mid bun, no hair sticking out. And now we're ready to put on our hairpiece. 
But before, hairspray, hairspray, and more hairspray. Alrighty, so now we have a hair piece here. This is just a sample hair piece. Make sure the comb is all the way inside your hair and maybe inside your bun. And normally we like to secure these hair pieces with more bobby pins. If you just put on the hair piece with a comb, it might fly off. So let's put on some bobby pins into the comb to make sure that no accidents happen on stage and that everything's secure and that way you look beautiful. A big shout out goes to my model, Miss Samantha Rivera, member of BFLA, and also to Miss Leslie Torres, our costume manager, and the person who made this awesome hairpiece. If you like this tutorial and want some more Folklorico tutorials, make sure to visit my online school at schooloffolklorico.com. See you next time.